Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Falak Nas Malik, postgraduate, Medical Unit 3, Ward 7, GPMC, Karachi. Uh, topic of my abstract is Baseline Characteristic Laboratory Parameters and Mortality in ACLF Patient Diagnosed Using Azer Cliff Criteria. This abstract is prepared by myself, Professor Sayyid Masroor Ahmad, Dr. Zishan Ali, and Dr. Maryam Wakar. Introduction, acute and chronic liver disease is a clinical syndrome defined by a worsening of symptoms in a pre-existing chronic liver disease manifested by organ failure and associated with high mortality. It is often precipitated by infections, hepatitis, drug-induced injuries, and hypoxic injury. The current mortality rate is uh, 30 to 50 percent as per Cliff Consortium. Objective to evaluate characteristic and risk factors contributing to outcome in ACLF patients using Azer Cliff criteria. Definitions Chronic liver disease is a progressive deterioration of liver function leading to cirrhosis and fibrosis. Acute and chronic liver failure is a syndrome that affects patients with pre existing liver disease characterized by worsening of symptoms and organ failure triggered by precipitating factors. This is the criteria we all are familiar with. Methodology, study type is cross-sectional study, uh, which took six months in completion and the location it was held in JPMC Karachi. My inclusion criteria are all patients with ACLF according to Azer Cliff criteria and exclusion criteria includes patient or renal replacement therapy at the time of diagnosis, patient with multiple major comorbidities like coronary artery disease, congestive cardiac failure or any underlying malignancy, patients who were not willing to be enrolled in the study. My results are uh, a total of 43 participants were found to have ACLF. There were 47% males and 53% females. ACLF was more in female population. The causes were 20% people uh, had hepatitis C. 19% had hepatitis B and 13% had other causes. The reasons for admission were 44% were admitted because of hepatic in calf, 21% had jaundice and the other 21% had upper GI bleed, 9% were with infections and 5% were with ascites. These are the lab parameters of ACLF patients which shows that ACLF was uh, more seen in patient with elderly uh, in elderly population uh, who have decreased platelet count, increased total bilirubin levels, increased ALT levels. Uh, most of the patients had deranged PTINR. Serum LB1 were found to be lower in patients with ACLF. Sodium and potassium did not show any uh, specific uh, relationship in ACLF patient. Urea and crat were deranged and MELD score was increased. Uh, actually, this table it showed intercortile range of vital signs, biochemical uh, laboratory parameters in ACLF patients. Uh, when it comes to outcome, 23 patients were expired and 77% patients were discharged. Conclusion of my studies, ACLF is one of the most common emerging cause of poor prognosis and in, hosp uh, in hospital mortality. The pattern of clinical presentation of such patients should be closely monitored so that we can easily provide them with appropriate medical management to reduce mortality. These are the references. Uh, thank you.